Hi there, it's Kim. I had a request on one of my uh, YouTube videos to show you how to make an envelope mini. Um, now, out of the four different types of mini albums that I've made, the envelope mini happens to be the easiest by far um, and the quickest to make. Now, there's the envelope mini that I've made, and there's the um, hinge binding mini. And I learned how to make this on the tutorials from um, Kathy. Orta from um, Paper Phenomenon and Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. This is something that I made just recently. I'm not finished with it yet, but that's the hinge binding system. And then I've made the minis that have the wire bound that is put together by the cinch and then the minis that have the ring binders. So those are the four that I've made and I know there's probably more out there, but those are the ones that I'm, I've made. So, all right, for the envelope mini, um, you know, you kind of want to pick out your, your paper maybe ahead of time or whatever idea that you want to do and you can pick any size envelope this is just the regular a2 size and i'm just going to disassemble this for a minute to kind of show you you do not have to use the envelopes that have the uh, v shape you can use any kind of envelope you want i have a couple of envelopes that i set out here just to show you um, you can use any of those um, any color I've seen some really pretty ones that were made out of the black envelopes that you can get at Michael's and um, those turn out really pretty if you've got you know that paper that coordinates with it and with any kind of colored envelope your um, paper that you put on it you can reduce the size just an eighth or a quarter of an inch so that each page has a little bit of a frame around it. You can see whatever color that envelope is. Now, let me just show you real quick. For this one here, I used this box of cards and envelopes here. I got this at Michael's, obviously, Recollections. And I did something kind of different. Oh, I could just show you because I, I have this one here. I used the envelope, and I'll show you in a second too. I sliced off the edge, and then I actually physically put a card right in the slit. That's one of the cards that it comes with. So, you know, that that's something a little different. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a video on that um, other than myself, but that's what I did there. So, you know, you can do that. You can buy the colored envelopes, I mean the color, colored cards, the card sets, and um, use it like this. So let me just tie this up real quick and set that aside. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so like I said, any size envelope, we're gonna start off with these two, and you're gonna have the left side and the right side. Now, literally, um, you it's, it's really this simple. <laughs> you can use glue or you can use score tape. Um, for the envelope minis, glue is fine because the paper's light and the glue will hold it. Um, for the chipboard minis, anything you're doing with chipboard, you probably want to use the the um, the ugh, score tape. Ugh, can't talk. Okay, so here we go. Um, the front cover is an envelope. There's nothing special about it. Did I just say that? I'm rushing through this because I think my son's going to walk in the door anytime and then this whole thing will be interrupted. So, all right, so take one envelope from the left side and you're going to fold that in. I'm going to kind of tuck it away and hide it. And then for this envelope, it's going to go inside here, but you want it to stay together. So you want to put some glue on that. So I'm just going to take my glue and run it right along the edge here like that and you want to slide it in. Now for the cover, um, I did actually cut the edges off of this one, but um, the cover, I don't think that you would want to do that. You want to um, keep the cover so that it's closed. Okay, so oh my gosh, wasn't that so hard? <laughs> That's it. That's the cover. Okay, I'm going to grab my, if I can do this without bumping my camera like I always do. Um, I'm going to grab my paper cutter, put that stuff aside. And then for each of these, you want to trim off an eighth of an inch. 
and that's on the side that does not have the flap. And or if you do not want to have pockets on it, don't trim it off. Or you can have pockets just on the right side, not pockets on the left. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to have another one here that we're going to trim. Again, the flap is on the left. And I'm just doing an eighth of an inch. And, okay, so not to completely bore you, this is exactly what you're going to do for however many pages you want in this mini album. So you're going to open this up. You're going to put a little bit of glue right here. This is the, the front and the back that you've already put together. And you're going to slide that left pocket in this little um, opening right here. Make sure it's all the way in. Now, um, just a side note here, if you have score tape, it's going to be harder for you to slide the envelope in and maneuver it so that it's all lined up. And I'm just kind of giving it a little, little help right there. So I want that all the way in. And then you can do the other one. I'm really not using a whole lot of glue. And slide this in. Just like that. So what you'll do is you'll have, just make sure that it's all lined up there. You want to fold it in before the glue sets up. One second, my phone is ringing. Okay, I took care of that. Um, so you're going to just build on this. Now I'm not going to keep using glue, but I'm just going to show you. Um, I forgot where I was when I had to pause the camera, so I'm just going to keep going here. Um, you're just going to glue and tuck, glue and tuck. And again, it's just however many pages that you want. And what's really fun, um, like I said, you can cut off the edges or you don't have to. If you want to tuck, you know, uh, uh, like I did with this one here, if you want to tuck uh, cards in there, or you can tuck tags if you want to make individual tags that you want, um, you know, to go in there, you can do that. So like for right here, there's my little pocket, you know, you could do like a photo mat tag and tuck it in there. And, um, in my idea, like I said, in the beginning of the video is you can have like only the openings on the right, if you want to, or you can have openings on the left and the right. Um, you can tuck the cards, you can tuck the photo mats, and you can put in as many as you want. And then all you have to do is just get out the paper that you want to design it with. This is just a sample. Glue your paper on, and then you do the same for all on the insides. Just like that. You're just going to cover that up, in case you're wondering. That will be your paper, but you'll need to cut it, you know, the size of your envelope, especially accommodating for the eighth of an inch that you've cut off. So you're just going to, because you don't want to cover up this right here. You don't want that right there. So you'll have, you know, the cover of your paper, and then you put your little tag in there. And just like that. So, you know, I hope this helps. I hope it wasn't more confusing. Um, but if you do have any other questions, um, you know, just leave a comment like, like you did. Um, the lady that did this and, and wanted some instruction on this. And I'll get back to you on it. Um, I think that's all for now. Hopefully this is helpful. Have a great day.